All right, I want to welcome everyone in. Welcome you back. Uh, returning viewers, new viewers, subscribers, unsubscribers, everyone out there. Uh, this is going to be a bit weird. Uh, I actually enjoyed putting this together. It's a little bit of a, you know, uses some techniques to get it to together like this, but. I took the frontier, I broke it down, started putting it together, and ultimately ended up with this Class A ship. Uh, only 71 mobility. I mean, you're welcome to take like some of the cargo off, but I wanted some cargo space. And, you know, I remember I did a build a while ago. It had a similar kind of curvature with the Stroud caps, and I, I kind of wanted to build on that. And create something that was completely out there. Something I've never done before. And uh, oddly enough, I named this Alien. Or Alien. It should be a U maybe. I think I'll do that. There you go. Alien. I like Alien ship. It does look Alien. Um, before I go and do anything else, I'm going to save that. It's got a little hidden cockpit, you know, some, uh, what do you call them? The tile braking engines kind of, you now flip canceled into there. Now getting this on here was a pain in the butt. The Stroud nose cap B, because I had to put it down here and then duplicate it up. But in case you're wondering, this is using six of the Amun 7 engines. I wanted to do that specifically. Um, now the reactor and grav drive are actually hidden in here. Underneath the, uh, the mid bracer, which is behind captain's quarter <laughs> control station, a companion way. I did this for a reason. Um, cause I didn't want to put the, uh, the docker on the bottom. Uh, I needed this to build off of. Uh, anyway. In case you're all curious. Um, everything I used to build this ship is here. Except for the, uh, the Tomahawk X120S reactor. That you have to find at Stroud. Um. These 200 cm ballast cargoes I had to go to Alpha Centauri for. But other than that, of the V102, that could be found at the outpost I'm at, which is on Nessoe. And, you know, before I continue, go into the star map. I didn't do much traveling for this at all. Um, go out. Um, if you look here, there's Alpha Centauri. Go directly east, east, west. Right here, the RNA and Olympus. Hit up Olympus. Tag along to the left if you want to build an outpost out here. Here's Nezui. And I'm going to show resources real quick because I'm on an area that's filled with like carboxylic acids, benzene, and argon. Um, but this is the Decius Forest area. Well, that's Savannah, but just below that, Decius Forest. Because up here will be Savannah. But you can't land in any of this area. That's all ocean. But I'll uh, just look for that science outpost, and right here is where I built my outpost. <clears throat> Pretty much everything you need is here, and I'll show you in the builder in a second. Uh, get in here. View and modify. If I go into... I'm just going to go into the builder. Like Here's all of your Class A shields. Defenders, Vanguard, Bulwarks, Wardens. 101D to 104, all the Assurance shields. It does not have the Odin shields. Uh, reactors, everything up to the SF-40, 104DS, 
uh, Z Machine 432 2020 and 1000 is the 164 millimeter uh, roidal actor roidal reactor wow um even the 380 370 360s has all of those um habs it doesn't have two by twos but this particular location that i built the outpost and i was lucky to have it this way so i don't have to travel everywhere um it has deimos habs three by one two by one one by one hope tech nova stroud and of course tiles smorgasbord um landing gear it doesn't have the tile pinpoint 4g or 4g plus uh, i was kind of let down by that because i really like the 4g plus because it's rounded um uh, engines moon sevens white dwarfs got everything from the duns novas i'm undone supernova has every single docker here um, cockpits. It doesn't have the bigger ones, but you know, all of the demos up to uh, the DS 20.3s, all the Armstrongs, the Magellans, the Vikings, and the uh, most of or half of Tyo's cockpits. Um, cargo. Lucky enough, it does have shielded cargo in this location, which is awesome. Um, the Caravel V102 shielded. Um, the 101 shielded, the 200 cm, 200 cm ballast shielded. It has like everything you could want at this location, including like a landing base. You know. So, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna knock it down completely and rebuild it. Um, I am going to link. Hopefully, I get the timing right. But there will be a little card that will pop up in the right side of the window that will show you or link you to a video that made that has all of the ship services look uh, technician locations and star yards um, in case you're curious there should be and will be well automatic chapters because the way i broke it up there will be chapters you can skip to for a particular uh, tech or star yard you're looking for Okay, I light everything. Delete. Now, as usual, chip bed landing bay. I'm going to start with that. We're going to flip that aft. Right? If you look close, there's aft this way or this way. Starboard port. So, ship bed, flip it aft. Now, to make this a bit easier, uh, the way I built this was weird because I started from a companionway to a workshop, stack companionway, armory. I'm just going to put a one by one companionway, duplicate it up and up again. Probably won't need the third one, speaking of. Um, but from this attachment point here, left trigger, right trigger, A, we're going to pop down a workshop, go up to your next companionway. Left trigger, right trigger, A, armory. We're going to leave this front half open. So from this companion way, left trigger, right trigger, A, computer core. And again, using the attachment method from this second companion way, we're going to hit A, captain's quarters. From this computer core, you can probably guess already. Control station. Now this may be a bit odd for you, but I wanted it this way personally. You don't have to. You can throw a demos hole up here um, to build out. But I tried using Stroud mid bracer up here. Doesn't want to go up there at all. So you probably have to put like a, a demos hole. But for me, throw down a Stroud companion way. And while we're here, since I tend to forget dockers, I'm going to attach to the top and tab over to dockers. I use the Connect Pro docker top. That you can find at Stroud, but if you built this outpost, no need to travel anywhere. Most of this build is going to be Stroud. 
Again, if you need to travel, I'll link that in the description if you can't see it on screen. Or didn't see it on screen. Okay, so while we're here, I'm going to go ahead to the computer core. And attachment method, left trigger, right trigger, A. Over to cockpits. And I'm going to hit up the CP220. We kind of have our basic layout here. So companion way, companion way. Then we branch off from there. There's only two ladders here. The so one goes straight up here. And another goes to your docker. That's it. All right. Okay. Now. Um, structural, we're going to save a lot of that. Well, we're going to need a lot of it um, down the road. But I'm going to try to remember what I did here. Where is it? Mid bracer. Yep. And attach one to each side or two to each side of the cockpit. And your uh, armory. Toward the front, you're going to have two here and two here. Now, the back is a bit weird. I'm going to grab one more, attach it to this companion way up top. Then down here is going to be our grav drive and reactor. So since I'm here, a reactor is a class A. Now I picked this up from Stroud, so it'll be here, the X120S. You can choose to use the 164 toroidal. It's a bit heavier by 12 mass, but you're welcome to use that because it has one more pip of power than this one does. It has a higher repair rate and better reactor health than the Tomahawk, but I'm going to use the Tomahawk. Just because it's lighter. And this, with the cargo, it ends up being about 71 mobility. So if you choose a heavier reactor and you want a little bit more cargo, you might be down around 68, 69 mobility. Anyway, grav drives. Um, you can choose the R3000. Um, which, I'm going to try it out. Um, I, us I initially chose the R4000 just because it's got a a little bit bigger of a thrust and you know better health. So looking at the 4,027 thrust, 95 health. The 3,000 has 23 thrust and 76 health. Um, actually, you know what? I already picked it up from here. I don't want to spend any more money than I already did. <laughs> um, grab yourself two more of these mid bracers. You're gonna kick one on the back of the rav and duplicate it down to go in front of your reactor so this is going to be hidden and housed within the rear of it okay gear pinpoint 3g you're going to put one of these on either side of your companion way here um on starboard it's a bit different so i'll highlight it duplicate it it left on D-pad, which brings me to the aft. So you may have to pull your mouse out or your left stick a little bit so it turns green. Because it might, like this, you know, even if I put mid and then aft, it turns red. Pull out a little bit. It attaches. Alright, so I'll highlight. Duplicate it. We're going to flip it over to the other side of this companion way here. This one. We're gonna highlight, duplicate, pull it back, and hit left on D-pad. Turn red. Pull the stick out. Green. Now we're on. Um, the back here and here. I know it's gonna be here and then on the engine, but we'll get to that in a little bit. No landing gear in the front, for good reason. Um, but at the rear, we're gonna have two. Um, this for now. Uh, this won't fit here. I think it was here and here. Yeah. Yep. So these two are going to sit. Um, one gets attached to your reactor. And this rear Aculander flipped to your and mid variant. It's attached to the other landing gear since it won't attach to 
mid bracers. I don't know something about Stroud's mid bracers. They just don't. <clears throat> they're not very good. But <laughs> for the purposes of what I did here, they worked and served their purpose well. Um, fuel tanks. We're gonna leave that till last, but we're gonna use 300 G's. I'm gonna set that aside. Uh, no equipment. Engines will save till last. Um, but I'll stick one out here for now. I just don't want to get caught on any of the structural pieces I'm putting here. Okay, dockers we did. Cargo, I'm going to use that because that comes later. And these I picked up already from Alpha Centauri. You don't have to. You can probably just go with, you know, a few of these if you wanted to. Instead of the 300, the 200 CMs. Even though they hold about 45 less cargo. But anyway. Structural. Here's where it gets interesting. Um, that Deimos belly. We'll mention that in a bit. That gets used at the rear. Okay. There's going to be a bunch of ground caps and some tile braking engines up there. All right. So I'll plop that down. I'm going to actually flip this aft and attach it to the top of this top mid bracer here. I light it and flip one, two, three, drop it down. Now go back to your first one, highlight it, duplicate it, left on D pad. And we're going to attach it to the front of it. Do the same thing over here. That flip it. Half so left on D-pad, pops it forward. Now this, I'm just going to select both, duplicate them, drop them back. If I'm not mistaken, or did I leave these forward? This was back. Nope, it's the way it was. Let's see here, so I'm going to duplicate and flip it. Then we're going to put the braking engines in here. And I need to bring this down and flip so it attaches underneath. But I need to flip that out first. Attach it to our. Oh, that's not going to work. God, I did it a different way. But we're going to do it here. Flip, 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 flip. And then cancel it. Now it's attached up there. Now we take the one that's flipped for bottom and attach it. All right, so this duplicate, drop it down a bit. Take this one, I'm gonna flip it under, drop it. I'm gonna flip it aft, drop it again, <laughs> pick it up, and go under. Flip one, two, three, four, cancel. Now it's on. I'll highlight, duplicate it, flip it aft, and connect it to that one. This was definitely a pain to put together because I wanted something very unique. Those are going to sit. I don't have another reference ship to go off of, so I'm just building this as is. Hey, you go up here. So with this, I'm going to duplicate down, flip it, and attach it. And the usual method is highlight, duplicate it, and hit left on D-pad to flip the variant to aft. And attach it there. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Duplicate, flip it. Flip it, flip it, and attach it. So we're going to highlight, pick it up, left on D-pad, flip it, aft bottom, and attach it there. That looks kind of cool like that. I really don't think I need to change the uh, colors at all. <clears throat> Let's see. Copy these. 
Wait, because one's going to go here. Oh, you son of a... Okay, so now I'm going to have to do that a different way. So attach the aft bottom to the back here. I could have sworn I didn't have a problem with the rear one. Hmm. Wait, I have two engines coming out of here. Two more up here. Yeah, we're going to leave that for now. Because um, I have to put a... Pull these back one. I'm going to grab these engines and do this because it's going to drive me crazy. I rebuilt this twice already, so that's that one there, that one there. And the Deimos belly is going to go under here. Remember, Deimos belly aft. Bang. Now, nothing gets attached under here. So, that means... Duplicate these two. They're going to sit there. And go up one eventually. So for now, leave it off. Duplicate these two. They're going to sit in the inner half of this starboard half bottom. Take these off for now. Take this one, duplicate it. Uh, yeah. Now we're going to like both of these, duplicate them, pop them over. All right, so now this is gonna sit on top. Bingo, bango, bongo. There we go. Now I'm gonna highlight, duplicate it, flip this back this way. Big, big, big ship, right? Not really. I think the fuel tanks were... I really should have built this out some more before I did this for y'all. You know what? Highlight. Back out of it. Yep, I got those holes over there and that attached there. Whoops. So, now that I have a better idea, I can just... Hey. Put this together easily. So you can skip through this. I'm gonna just quickly throw this together here. And we'll get there eventually. Control station there. That's a captain's quarters. This is gonna go to our Cockpit here, 220. Now, uh, before I go zipping any further, companion way, Docker Connect Pro. Go back over to my structural here, zip through this. Um, where is it? Mid bracer. There, select, drop them there, take two more, select. Right now, go back to gear. Hey, your ass back on there. Of course, I'll take these off. It's fine. Built this thing so many times it shouldn't be happening. This one's gonna be right, right. Bang, bang, bang. Done there. Okay. So need one here. One up here. I think these two are gonna go there. One's here. Uh. 
I'm coming to think of this crap. Let's go. Oh, need to slow my roll here, people. Going too quick for my own good. Four. Those go there. Make sure they're on. These two go to the front. Right, yep. Now. Um, need to flip that to a, I'm going down, goes there, this gets attached there, uh, lower sevens, that goes there, um, where's my structural, flip that down the aft, bang, Now, I'm going to zip my butt down here and grab one of this Nova Cali. He's going to go up front. This go aft facing. And another. Oh, bingo. Now we're cooking. Take these, move them up to attach to the other bracer there. All right, now we're golden. Kind of. I'll flip that to half the variant. That's gonna sit there. Flip you there. Go back. Done. Now I'm gonna uh, select these two, duplicate them down. Oh uh, yeah, because of the uh here, so I gotta do the whole flip flip thing. Three, four, exit now it's on. I like the whole thing, nothing unattached. Good to go. One, two, three, four. Good. Flip that one. Like both of these, bring them up. Get back there. Like this one, flip it aft, sit it right here. All right, now I'm gonna select both, duplicate, drop them down. Now we're good. Um, duplicate this. This is gonna sit up like this. Flip. Oops. Nope. So I like flip it once, and you're good. I'm gonna flip it aft and attach it there. Uh, let's see. Like both of these. Up. Oh. Yep. Flip, flip, flip. Attach it under the other engines here. Like both of these. Duplicate them and put them underneath this aft facing wing. I like this one. Flip, flip, flip. Now we can turn green. This one I'm going to flip to four. Attach it right here do the same thing with this uh port aft bottom like it left on d-pad and it goes under this bracery now all four of these for each side you're going to highlight duplicate them stick them to the uh now this to the side of these um uh bracers here and do the same thing here. All four. Duplicate them. And basically this. These two attachment points at the rear. Are going to get attached to. The sides of your. Mid bracers here. Now we cooking. Alright, we're not quite done yet, so we have a little bit more of the, um, whatchamacallit, <laughs> the structural bits to go, so, crowd nose cap B, four top, I'm going to flip it to four bottom, and attach it in between these two, or four bottom caps, but I want it up here, right? 
I'm just going to hover over it so it's highlighted blue. Hit Y. Duplicate it up. Now I'm going to delete that bottom one. Now more of our tile breaking engine. More of our structural. This is going to get attached to this naked point right here. Done. I mean, you could put something here and try to put a weapon there, but I'm not going to go that route. Um, tile breaking engines. This part's tricky. I want to go in here, but they turn red. So I just flip it, flip it. And see how it shifted? I light it, it'll turn green and pop that in there. I'm going to flip this one so it's starboard and do the same thing over here. It's red. Flip, flip. Cancel it. Now it's shifted, so I light it A. Select it, it turns green, drop it down. Done. Okay, I need this cap A. I'm going to just duplicate it, flip it, bring it up. Set it right on top of... <laughs> The cockpit here. Alright, so now I'm gonna need another Stroud cap, but it's gonna be these. I think C version? Yeah, half top. That's gonna sit right behind the Stroud nose cap B4. Like this a lot. This came out pretty nice. Alright, so there's a few more things to do. Structural. I'm going to go up to... Oh, where's my Deimos bumpers here? Oh, there they are. I'm going to go mid. I'm going to bring this one up to the... Oh, top. Right underneath that. F top, Stroud Cap A. Now to get this down here, just look down at it, hover over it, hit Y to duplicate, it turns green. I'm going to grab this left on D-pad, left on D-pad for port aft. Stick it right on the back here. And looking down at that one, highlight it just by hovering over Y to duplicate and it drops down. And we're going to flip it over to starboard mid and do the same thing. Look down at it, highlighting it. Your cursor. Y to duplicate. Hit A. It goes right down. So I'll grab that port aft bumper, duplicate it, flip it to starboard aft, just attach it to this uh, control station. Bumper mid goes to the computer core. So there's starboard aft bumper on your control station look down at it put your cursor or mouse over it duplicate it down and that's it for that now um thought i put out some fuel tanks oh until i screwed up but anyway shields this is class a i'm putting an sg60 on it is going to go on the inside of that companion way at the top where our docker is hidden underneath this wing All right, now we did reactors halves grab drives gear fuel tanks 300 g's these are 100 fuel each these are going to go underneath one on this side of your control station underneath your Field, hover, I like duplicate, flip it, and that's going to go on the port side of your control station. Now, ah, uh, where is it? Cargo. I showed shielded for the top. This is going to go to the other side of that companion way up top. 
underneath that port four top wing. All right, so Deimos bumpers, you're gonna need those on the back. Aculander 11, right? The aft version, the bumpers. On either side is gonna go the 200 cm ballast fielded cargo. Going over. And on that front Aculander 11, two of these. 100 cm builded cargos. All right, so with that being said, go back over to your structural again. Grab two equipment plates. I'm gonna hit one on this aft bottom or port four bottom uh, wing and highlight that, duplicate it, bring it over to this starboard four bottom wing. Okay, so weapon loadout. This will be very simple. The Adelantal 280s. We use four of those things. Why and how? I'll show you in a second. I'm gonna head over my structural again. I forgot the Horizon weapon mounts that are going in the back. Here. So these port four top wings where these weapon mounts go. And with that being said, we're going to put one missile launcher on the top there. Another missile launcher on the top. The other one here and here. These two are going to sit on the port four top and starboard four top things. There's your four missile launchers. Now for the remainder. You might be able to guess we're going to use PBO 50s and Vanguard auto uh, projectors or the obliterators. So the Vanguard ones might seem a bit weird for you. But <laughs> don't ask me why I did it this way, but one's going to go underneath here. One's going to go on the same on the other side. And the three PBOs are going to go here, here, here. here. Oh, the obliterator is going to go in the middle here. PBO is going to go here, here, and then one PBO up here. But we have three so far of the auto projectors. This next one is going to go the port forward top wing. This one's going to go on this side of this wing. So you have one, two, three, four, five. You're going to need what, six, right? So, best thing to do, I'm going to put one more there on this port four top cap A at the very top. We have four top here, one and two at the bottom. Now PBO 50s, this is going to be simple. One on each equipment plate here, and then one underneath this nose cap B. Those are all your weapons. Now the PBO 50 auto protons have a max power of four. You can only use three of them. The auto projectors or Vanguard obliterators power of two. You can have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, six of them. So for a max power of twelve. These at a level 280A. Remember, max power of three. So three, six, nine, twelve. Max power of twelve. And that's all there is to it. Just have to assign the weapon. So weapon two, the ATL 280As. Weapon one, which is left trigger. That's gonna be PBO 50. Weapon zero, right trigger, the obliterators. All right, now for coloring, the first color was a very off, like kind of custom blue-ish. Went with a bit of a lighter blue. Let 
mean, you're welcome to pause it there. I think this was actually a bit more blue. Yeah. You can pause it there, copy it if you'd like to. I think I'd want more on the bluish side. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I mean, you're welcome to experiment color with it. Uh, how you'd like to. I think. Yeah, that's the original color. So two is going to be a dark. Three is going to be a dark. Yeah, so your color one is this right here. So I'll pause. If you want to copy it, go ahead. The uh, darker color is the default dark gray. So you can leave that as is. Okay, so for me, I don't like this shield. It's not enough cargo. Um, I'm going to go ahead and knock that up to the B102. Give me a little more cargo space because I love having cargo. If I don't have cargo, I'm not happy because I can't throw anything on my ship and it's disheartening. But that's the alien. Get up out of here. Yep, that's the colors. And we're 100% accurate. Given, forgive my initial mistake, I apologize. Um, this was a bit of a project to put together. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what the inside looks like. Take a look at the alien. Look at this thing. Um, if you're curious, there is a gap here, or a little bit of a triangle. You can just run straight through, roll your landing gear, all the way back here. Now before I get in here, uh, since I played around with the ship, I probably lost some crew. Um, no, they're still on here. Good stuff. If you're curious, before I did this video, I managed to grab an ecliptic claymore and upgrade it a little bit. But I managed to board and capture one. So I'm happy. First time ever. Alright, so let's get into the alien. Alright, first things first. Forgot to tell you, I put windows on the bottom, but you don't have to. We got a ladder straight up here. Awesome. So open up this little hatch right here. Here's our workshop. Y'all make a mess. What the hell's wrong with y'all? Anyway. I'm gonna hop up this ladder real quick. Two hatches here. This is gonna go to the cockpit. Oh no. Cockpit's up one. Here is our hey, armory. Need help with anything? Y'all doing just standing around. Alright. Go through this hatch on the opposite side. Our captain's quarters. Of course, Rosie's in here. I'm really happy to see you. And Sarah. Up one more. Hey. Get a pack ahoy. Hey. Ran out of fuel, you kidding me? Alright, anyway. Our computer is right here. Computer core is right here. Cockpit is over there. And here we go. Through here is our control station. All right. Now up here is our docker. That's just a companion way up there. Nothing up there. Run through to the cocky pit. And we're going to take off and check this bad thing out. I'm still wearing the mantis gear from our last video. Even with my modified Deimos gear, it still beats it, so I'm going to keep it for a while. Let's go. Let's go. Take her off her. Escape trajectory plotted. Look at that thing. I'm proud of it. I like it. Y'all might hate it, but hey. Look at it. Stars and the vastness of space. Alright, 
So I'm going to take a little bit out of weapons here. And give you all a third person view. 194. Just chilling. Even though it's semi heavy. Post it. Five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, 930 something. Tell me all hate it now. Almost a thousand. Alright, since y'all already know where I like to go. I think it should be unlocked. If not, might have to edit that out. Oh no, perfect. I'm gonna put three into grav three out of engines. Yeah, I have a little bit of a boost because I have a bit of crew. If you don't, you may not see the same results. Just saying. Um. Exhilarating. Uh, let's take three points out, put two in here, one in missiles. Note about some tool tips here. Um, there is going to be a little tool tip sometimes when you go into a loading screen that will tell you that the lower your weapons are powered, the more ineffective they will be, which means a slower reload speed, which means less power to them. Um, this is what the game tells you. If, which is actually true based on whatever amount of testing I've done already but I don't know what changes they've made but it does tell you opposite of what some others may tell you they may tell you oh you don't need to power your weapons it depends articles and stuff like that yes you do um, to reload faster yes you do where are y'all? I'm going cockpit view. There we go. I don't want to be hitting stuff here. Where's that 54? Hiding behind a rock. I don't even have to use my missiles. How do you like that? How do you like that? Well, then again, I'm on a kind of an easier difficulty. <laughs> Not hard anymore. It's either easy or normal. Normally, it's normal. Find you all some decent lighting here. So, I hope you all enjoyed that build. A little bit of demo. Even with a little mistake, I left it in there. So you all can see, like, I know what I'm doing. I built the ship. I know how to put it back together. <laughs> anyway. This, again, taking a, a bit from my, um, the Anvil Aeronaut and just completely encompassing the ship in wildness came out very nicely. I think I'll be using this from now on. Alright, anyway. Um, definitely if you enjoyed this, if you want to see more of this or, you know, anything else if you enjoyed the video and only if you did drop a like and subscribe um do let me know what you think in the comments uh feedback is always welcome trying to improve content better experience for all of you and i will catch you all on the next one all right laters <laughs>